Are you ready for the next generation of red cameras? Oh, wait a minute. Cinity, your digital cinema tech resource, supported by B and H and CVP. Hi, I'm Nino from Cinity here at IBC 2022 in Amsterdam. I'm here with Ryan Avery from Revar Cine. How are you? Doing great. Well, people know you for a lot of things, maybe you know filters, tokina stuff, but they certainly don't know you for making cameras. You're you're changing this today, aren't you? Yep, that's right. So what, what what camera are you announcing? So uh, we announced the uh, Rivar Cine Mini um, Red V Raptor with a uh, series of lenses. So it's a uh, half scale model of the V Raptor, uh, and we've provided the absolute maximum level of detail we can. So you're saying it's not full frame; it's micro four thirds. Yeah, and a friend of mine said it was ultra eight. So you know we've, we're making up formats as we go. Yeah. Okay. No, but seriously, what what is this? This is not a real camera. What is it? So it's a scale model of the of the real camera with the maximum level of detail we could provide for the uh, price that we hope to offer it for. Um, it was months and months of work and really an intense process to arrive at what we have today. I have to say, this is one of those things you have in your hand, and it, it just, you know, you just have to smile when you see it. It's such a, it's a solid piece of metal. It's, I think it's a one piece of metal, right? Uh, Two pieces in this case. Yeah, the lens is removable, but it is an entire piece of metal. There is no additional parts. It's, it's a, uh, a significant amount of machining time and laser engraving. It's a highly detailed model. So how do you come up with, or how did you come up with this, and why, why did you decide making a, you know, a toy, essentially? Really, I had a, uh, it was kind of a midnight idea, and uh, I also had a friend who's in the toy business, and he's also in cinematography, and he said this would be cool, and we started talking about it, and it went through so many stages of development, and, you know, do you make it a small keychain, do you make it big, do you, what, what do you do, and we just decided to make an ultra-premium scale model. We felt like it was best to fit the people in this industry and what we like. We like high-quality gear. We love the gear. So last night, I mean, you know, this is the third day of IBC. I don't know when you see this video, but last night, um, Jared Land, the CEO of Red Cinema, tweeted or Facebooked or whatever or Instagrammed a photo of this in his hand. And I think a lot of people got excited about it. Uh, I guess you weren't prepared for the announcement yet? This is a pre-production model, and I brought it to IBC to show it to a number of people. And uh, of course, it is already in production, but I uh, I was not ready to announce it, and that's nothing with Jared or anybody. It just was a friend of mine tweeted it, and then oh. it just kind of got out of control. And I, I'm happy we did. It, it's of course. I think I saw it on the Red Group or something, and a lot of people got excited about it. Yeah, and people thought it was a real camera. We get so many questions. Somebody ordered it on our site and said, oh, "What what memory cards do I buy? Where's the V mount?" I said, "No, this is a toy model." So 300 of those you will make, you said, uh, and they're serialized? Yes, each one is serialized, so uh, you order early and you get a lower number, kind of like the original red one. Um, and yeah, so it's it's fun. It's really fun and, and people love it. So. What are the plans with this? I mean, this can go so many ways. I, I, I saw on your website you have it with the Atlas Anamorphics. You also offered it to Kina. Are you planning to do other camera models, stuff like that? Uh, all of this is 100% official licensed product, so that is up to the camera and lens manufacturers to accept it. I can say that um, we are very strongly headed in that direction, and we really hope that uh, it seems very well embraced by all the manufacturers. They all seem excited about it, so I have good hopes for the future. How do you think people will use this? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's basically a desk toy, but it weighs 1.8 pounds. It's 800 grams. I mean, it's, it's really high quality. Uh, so I think, uh, you know, I can imagine, well, actually I know, rental companies have purchased it. They want to put it on display. Uh, dealers and equipment dealers, they want to show, you know, they don't have a V-Raptor there. So they say, hey, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's really, uh, it's crazy. It's just, it's a, it's a bookshelf. I just, you know, whatever you can imagine. Our, all our families, I'm sure, always say you just play with toys for boys, right? That's what we do. I mean, cameras. It's 90% men here, unfortunately, but that's the way it is. Our industry, but like, we're all tech heads in a way. I mean, this literally is a toy for a boy. So yeah, congratulations on this, and I'm sure people get very excited about it. And I guess, I'm guessing. Uh, not many of those will be left if you do only 300, I mean. 
we're already approaching sold out. It's it's uh, it's beyond anything that I imagined in terms of reception, and I do mean it. I'm only making 300 of these, and then and then we will move on to whatever is uh, accepted by the manufacturers as something that they want. And these are things that we worked intensely with the manufacturer to approve and had to make a lot of changes to reach the demanding level of precision that these manufacturers uh, provide in their products. And we do the same thing. So what features does the Rivar Cine Mini have? Uh, so in addition to having uh, highly, highly detailed, like the vent fan is, is machined and, and the, the little red buttons for the eject and the record and whatnot, um, this one has a removable lens, uh, so you can take the lenses off. Uh, it also features a quarter 20 on the bottom, and earlier today we had it on a gimbal running around. And every time it goes by on the gimbal, people just, it blows their mind. They don't know what they're looking at. It's, it's kind of like your mind can't conceive. And um, the gears on the lenses are fully detailed. It is an exact copy of the proper cinema thread pitch. It's not just something made up. Uh, you know, the window, the lines are there. The front is glass. The production model will actually have something that looks more like regular glass. Um, originally went black because we're thinking the camera was powered off or something, but, uh, you know, obviously that's not the case with the lens. So we have all these features. We can add um, V-mount later. We have a lot of requests for micro v mini V-mount batteries. Um, I did. We did design it with little holes on the side so you could actually snap in a monitor if we do make it. Um, we're looking at different options for 3D printed because these are really highly detailed and expensive to make, yeah. Very cool. So if people can still order one, how much is one? The kit with the, uh, with the uh, V-Raptor Mini and the uh, Atlas or the Tokina lenses of your choice is 299 US dollars. And um, as you buy more lenses, it gets a little better. But we have really truly priced this at a price to service the industry. It's, it's, uh, it seems very expensive, but it takes a lot to make this model. So. Okay. Very cool. Can't, can't wait to see what else you come up with, what other cameras, lenses, whatever. We are super excited about it and uh, I think really it's just the sky's the limit as far as what people want to accept and how far do we go. Yeah. Absolutely. I think next year we will have an IBC or NAB just in one room with a lot of little booths and everything is just models and just toys. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's uh, really exciting. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. Thanks for your time. And thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned to Synity for a lot more from IBC 2022, whether it's toys or actual production equipment. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.